Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 18, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So before we start this review, I'm actually sending out the Supergirl Season 3 Miss You posters today or tomorrow, so the winners, I've contacted you by now, and you'll be getting them in the next week or so, so that's just a quick update, but let's get on to today's video. So so overall episode 18 was really good definitely one of my favorite episodes of the entire season we got so much content and we got the storylines that I'm really really intrigued about and that's obviously the Legion of Superheroes storyline and the rain storyline as per usual Adair Annabelle was brilliant and especially Melissa and once again Chris Wood was actually really good I love his emotional scenes at the moment he's been acing them so let's break down what happened in the episode so obviously again it's going to be a non chronological order so the first thing I want to talk about is the name drop at the start of the episode so they name drop chameleon boy they just call him chameleon he was actually the first one to get infected by the blight so that just confirms another legionnaire's existence in the future so i'm really hoping for next season that we get to actually explore these different characters maybe we can see the future and maybe see the legion of superiors headquarters that would be awesome so there's extra legionnaires and we get the explanation as to why they're still in their pods but according to brainy they're actually not infected anymore and rain won't evolve into the blight that's confirmed so near to the start of the episode we get the Legion of Superheroes actually leaving. We get a nice Brainy of Wind scene and we get some nice Imra and Kara interactions and throughout the episode Imra is giving looks like she knows and by the end which we'll talk about in a minute she obviously tells Monel to stay back. So the next part I want to talk about is basically everything to do with Monel. So we had some big stuff go down so it was really emotional the goodbye like Kara's puppy face I mentioned that in yesterday's preview video it's just such a brilliant scene I really do like that it was absolutely brilliant seeing Kara's confession although she steered off from saying anything about her true feelings she just confess that it's been hard and it's going to be hard to say goodbye and she says I'm so glad I got to witness the man you became and that was really emotional and it really hit and when Kara actually had to leave because Lena got attacked Monel started crying once again which again just highlights how good Chris Wood is as an actor he really really does portray those scenes that we've seen over the past few episodes really really well and so this just tees up the idea for is Caramel going to come back and he obviously still has his feelings Imra knows that so that's why he's staying back in the past nearer to the end of the episode we get the reveal that Monel has come back and we get Imra's speech she says you must figure out what weighs on your heart and she's noticed and by the time that they next each other we will get the explanation as to are they going to stay together or is he going to stay in the past or what's going to be going on so that was really good to get in that clarification of what's going on between them so Imra and Monel have temporarily broke up in a literal sense that she's in the future and he's in the past but we're going to see as to what their status is in the season finale we know that for sure so it was really awesome the Monel return scene it was such a surprise to Kara and everyone and it was a surprise to us we knew he was coming back but it was really really good and it paid off very well and so that actually leads on to some of the rain stuff we'll talk about Patricia in a minute but it was awesome getting that reveal seeing that fight scene with Kara and Monel teaming up and then Alex's bullet was really cool and so we got to see the tag team between the cape tricks and it just captivates the evolution of what they've gone through this season and it puts it into one big fight scene and it was really good and the most emotional scene of the episode was ruby seeing that rain is sam i was like oh shit i actually feel so bad for ruby right here and ruby once again was really good she's definitely one of the best child actors we've had in the Arrowverse, if not the best. And so at the end, Monel ends up shooting Sam and Rain is locked up again and that's going to be a big part of next episode. But before we talk about the Patricia stuff, it was really great seeing Alex and Ruby being back together and I really liked everything that happened there. We found out that she was locked up in Lex's secret invisible mansion, which is crazy. But I think essentially the core of what happened with Alex in this episode is just to set up the idea that she is playing the mother role for Ruby while Sam is gone and if Sam doesn't make it she will become her literal mother I think and so in those scenes we get to see a person called Mrs. Queller 
and that's just a reference to the executive producer of the show who's called Jessica Coelho so that was a nice little thing that they implemented and so moving on to the other rain stuff we get some really awesome shots of rain sneaking around the house being very horror-esque and we got to see the plants die, we see Pestilence's powers in action, and also we see Purity's powers in action, and it was just really awesome exploring that. And then we get the full story of Rain, and Patricia goes over the symptoms of what she saw when she was younger, and it was really just a redemption arc for Patricia, and it was great seeing the story of Rain, and Rain ends up killing Patricia, and when Sam realises she's done this, she's going to feel like shit. And so moving on from that, a big part that many of you guys might have missed was that Monel actually, before he was going to leave, said that Jean is alive a thousand years in the future, that Monel will actually see him there, so that's confirmation as to roughly how long Jean can live, so he can live a very long time and he will meet him in the future at one point, so that's really awesome to hear. And so maybe he helps out with the Legion of Superheroes in the future, but let's talk about that ending scene. So if you couldn't understand what the ending scene was doing, it's setting up the next episode with James, and the girl that you saw is going to play a big part of next episode because she steals some information from Thomas Coville as to the World Killers, and he has a lot of information and that information is potentially going to help take down rain it may be splitting her i think that's what's going on maybe it's something to do with the creation of how they created rain the last thing i really want to talk about in this episode is the lena stuff so once again i found myself rooting for lena as you know i'm not the biggest lena fan but since the last few episodes when she was actually going through that rain storyline i really liked her and in this episode once again she was really good and she's playing the role of the audience because Kara is being an absolute prick to her, like, everything that Lena says is true in that situation, but when Kara's confronted with Kryptonite, the one thing that can hurt her, she seems to be really childish, and it's kind of irritating, but I know it's been done on purpose, and so we're all led to actually root for Lena in this instance, and so Kara's god complex when it comes to Kryptonite is really irritating, but it's something that Superman also has, and it's just inherent in Kryptonians, because sometimes they don't think of humans and, you know, their weaknesses, they only think of their Kryptonian weaknesses, and so that ends scene with Lena and Kara, I really really do like that scene with how she just spits shit on Supergirl and Kara's like, okay. So this is going to make Kara realise that she's been doing this all wrong, that Lena is actually in the right and that Supergirl is in the wrong and so it's just a realisation and she's gonna hold a grudge for a while, I'm pretty sure Kara is, but she's going to be trying to wrap her head around that. And so, go Lena in this instance, but let's hope Kara actually can overcome this childish sense of whenever she's confronted with kryptonite or anything like that. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And also tonight I'll be doing my trailer breakdown for episode 19. And also check out my mon Stays in Present Day video because that has a lot of information as to what Chris Wood has actually said as to what mon is going to be doing for the rest of the season. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.